purpose of this video is to show you how to query a geodatabase using ArcGIS Explorer. I've already downloaded ArcGIS Explorer onto my PC, and I've selected one of the two geodatabases that are available on the Marine Scotland Interactive web pages. This is the Lewis 2010 geodatabase. I've also downloaded another file, an Excel file, and this is the codebook. And what you're able to do with a geodatabase is to query it according to three different parameters. One is the buffer ID. This is effectively the distance offshore in one kilometer intervals extending from the coastal uh, zone out to 10 kilometers offshore. The bathymetry ID, which extends from 15 meters out to 80 meters in 5 meter depth intervals. And the slope ID. And this is the slope of the seabed and uh, that range goes from uh, th 0 degrees out to 39 degrees in 3 degree intervals. Now, first of all, let's zoom into the, uh, the geodatabase itself. Okay, there it is. Um, I'm just going to switch it off because I don't want too much information on the screen at once, but keep the geodatabase layer highlighted. Then you can click on Tools and go to Query. And this is uh, a standard uh, query builder that is reproduced for their ARC products. It's a structured query language that you use in order to query the database, and it's easy to use. First of all, I want to um, introduce um, the Bath ID parameters. So click on Bath ID, and I want to search in. the uh, codes 1, comma, 2, comma, 3. That represents those areas between 0 and 30, degrees, uh, 30 meters. I also want to introduce a, the slope ID, and I want to know those uh, areas of seabed that are between 0 and 9 degrees, so that's codes 0, 1, two, three, four. And lastly, I want to know those areas that are within four kilometers of the shoreline. So that's my query, and the query is effectively saying, find me all those areas that are between 0 and 30 meters in depth, that have a seabed slope between 0 and 9 degrees, and are within 4 kilometers of the shore. To make sure that your query is actually written correctly, you can press test. It's telling me that there are more than 100 features match the query, which means it's ready to run, and I'm going to press OK. And this takes a couple of seconds for uh, everything to be processed. But what will happen is that the ArcGIS Explorer will start to build a map showing those areas that correspond to those parameters. And it will then display it on the, on the screen. I'll just pause this because it takes a few seconds because you can see on the bottom it's streaming information. And I'll just pause this. Oh, here we go. It started doing it already. It's still streaming information, so it's still drawing the map. And that's it. It's completed. You'll notice that on the contents bar up here it's introduced a new layer showing the parameters used to create that layer. You could right click on it and rename it so you have more of an idea of what the depth, slope, and distance offshore actually are. You can also go to Share, which then allows you to save that layer as a discrete layer package, which you can then email to people, save to disk, or um, even load onto ArcGIS online. I'm not going to do that at the moment. And you can then go back into the database, go back to Query, 
select query, and then vary as many of the parameters you want to, generating a number of different individual layers um, of different combinations of those three parameters to assist in the site selection uh, for uh, the deployment of different types of device within the survey area. And it really is straightforward to use. Okay, that's the end of the video.